Hey, good morning. So we are at the bottom of day five. We did a lot in the last one. It was a long one. Um, I made a bed here with every intention of going down to the plane and um, looting there, but I don't think that that makes any sense because I am completely, completely full of stuff. So I'm going to grab this bed back up and we're gonna talk base for a moment so we're about I don't know one third away from C2 base and we're about two thirds away from an E1 base so it depends on what we want to do I think that I think that C2 base would be really fun but my heart, <laughs> my NOS heart, really wants to do an E1 base. I think it'd be fun. I think it'd be really cool to do more with the oil drills this time and show how that works um, and get those up and going. So I'm going to go down the road here. We're going to go try and set up shop at E1. We'll see how it is. I, I really loved last season living outside of the hotel and all the visitors having the big boy and stuff obviously we could do that and have the the big boy visit us at the new base if we build somewhere in c2 that's very possible or we could have a lot of other zombies visit us but i think that there's plenty of zombies to be had at e1 just i mean plenty so i'm gonna head up over there i want to set up the a couple of the buildings and i want to set up just maybe like a, I don't know if I want to do a cabana or if I want to lay out blueprints for a base at all I think what I might do is just uh, set up definitely the control center and a house here's a bandit camp here are they home are you guys home oh yeah you guys are home okay but yeah, definitely the control center, because if we can get the control center up and running, then we have... I'm sleepy. I'm going to get out and eat this. We would have all of the warehouse to put storage in. Um, one of the things, too, is... I know that there's a car spawn there. I don't know what car would be there. If there's a truck there, that would be great for us. Obviously, it's going to C1 means that we could have the we could have an APC right now but we don't have anything we don't it's a huge risk to bring that APC down from there and we're really out of fuel so being by this farm means we might be able to get some more stuff too and E1 has so much crafting materials, and we're going to need a lot of that. Plastic, wire, cement. We're, we're going to need that stuff to get uh, NPC buildings up and going. And unfortunately, C1 is not going to help us do that. Uh, so I missed my turn. I want to go down this road here. Is there another car spawn down there? There might be. Anywho, we're gonna we're gonna go up here. We're gonna take a look at what we can find. We do have two traders. We have three traders very close to us, which is nice. I'd have to look at I have to look at one of my cheat sheets. Uh, I have I have guides. If if you didn't know, McDagger and I have been working on I I got a domain a WordPress site. I started a website, and the guides that he's created and a lot of the information that I've compiled. I'm putting on there. I'm starting to work on it for uh, a couple of the games, so it could be a reference point if you ever need it. I also am updating, you know, patch information on there as soon as I can. It's a lot, but it's it is okay. So we've got a hatch back here. Unfortunately, that doesn't help us. But this is where this is where we could build stuff. So, first things first, I'd say, I think first things first, we get a workbench going. We'll just put it right here by these two rocks. 
Um, because we'll have to make arrows eventually. So I don't have anything for that. So I need stones, toolbox, I need some logs, and I think I've put that stuff somewhere. <laughs> I've put it somewhere. I'll take those two bricks too. Uh, we can go ahead and we could unlock the large smelting furnace with that. And that's two less things in our <laughs> in our inventory. That's one of the issues now is I have to offload some stuff somewhere. Otherwise, go leaving here is going to be useless. Where is where is all my stuff for a workbench? It's not in there. Is it going to be in the very last backpack that I check? No. Okay. So that stones. Here we go. Perfect. Okay. Take all of these arrows and that, and you can have those things as well. Um, I'll keep the I'll keep the building hammer on me. Let's put the backpack back up so it's safe. And now we're going to clear a spot for an NPC base here. I think we'll we'll put it right over here. With it facing I don't know, where do we want it to face? We want to put it this way? I guess we could. So then I think we got two more cheese to chop. Uh, maybe three. Maybe two. We'll see. Okay. This one, I see a stick over there. Logs everywhere. Another stick. Okay, let's vacuum up some of these logs. Another stick. Another stick. Okay. Temporarily, we will place a log rack here. I need three more sticks. Try to pick up some more of these logs. How are we doing on space? Oh, we've got plenty of space. Okay, let me my my axe back. This should give us the sticks we need. There we go. There's another one just in case, and another one, and another one. Okay, come on, logs. Oh, we're starting to poop them out. Okay, roll on over there. I said roll on over there. Okay, take some logs. Nice. Here's one. Let's see. That'd be good. I think, uh, oh, not that. Possibly this one also needs to come down. There we go. Take those blocks. Oh, I need a building hammer. All right. So if we do outdoor NPC control center, where did the door go? Are you? Wow, you hate this, huh? Let's scoot it away from me.
Was that even? Oh, I think very about there. I think that might work. Okay, so then probably go back this way. So we want to be close to all of those oil drills there so that we don't have to make a, a buttload of power sources, I guess. What do you need? You need cement, iron, simple parts, advanced parts, wire, toolboxes, bricks. So I don't think we have too much that we can put in there. Uh, hmm. As far as building a place to store stuff, we could do, we could just do simple boxes out here. We could do storage racks. I think we'll do... I think we'll just do boxes. Say we do... Say we do like four boxes. Okay, scooch just a little bit, please. Okay, we'll start there. Oh my gosh. Alright, take, take this stuff. We will... I guess we'll just have to go in there and grab what we can. So one of these has planks. Oh my gosh, don't punch the car. Okay, planks and simple parts. Let's see what we can get with those. Oh, the most of them are backwards. That's fine. Alrighty. Take the simple parts. It's fine if they're backwards. It really doesn't matter right now. Um, you take that. You know what? I might as well... Might as well stick that in there for now. Grab a drink and just grab backpacks and unload whatever... I can into there. So what do we have in here? A bunch of random stuff. So we'll do crafting. This one will be metallurgy. Uh, we'll put fur fabric stuff in this one. And we'll do this one medical and clothing. I think that'll work. Uh, we do need one for food. So I guess we'll also put... Well, I don't know. We'll figure it out. I've got an empty bottle. I should grab... You know what? Let's leave it backwards. Let's make everything backwards. <laughs> Alright. I've got... I've got a plan to put all of the mods in there. Oh, mood and medical can go together. That's fine. If I label these, will it show up on the other side? No. <laughs> That's fine. It was doomed from the start. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put that, um, those supplements in there. Okay, take that. My goodness. Alright, I'm gonna work on doing the rest of the bags that I can and we will we'll catch up in a little bit this is going to take some time to do so I might as well get started on it and also then we can we could place some of the other the other buildings I might build my I might build my house across the street actually and set up a little village right here. That might be fun. I have a I have an idea to for a build in mind, but I'm not sure how easy it's gonna be. One of the things I'd love to find would be um, a shoulder light, so I can get some plastic for that trash can. 
But yeah, I'm gonna work on this. I will be back in a minute and show you how far I've gotten. Okay, I I've, I've really done the best that I could. There's so much stuff. I'm gonna have a uh, I'm gonna have a snack real quick. I guess I'll eat this one. Um, I don't think I have enough to unlock. Oh, I might. Rainwater collector. I need three planks and then a couple sticks. I need nine sticks, huh? Okay, here's some saplings. Alright. So that would be... Oh, I don't have engineering. Oh, that's rough. Looks like we will have to build some stuff after all in order to get that up. That's okay. But I have a... I have like a mess of things happening. So this is my crafting boxes. So I can take these and I can put those five in there. I don't have... I broke down the shoulder lights. I only got electronic components. So there's nothing I can do. Um, I don't have the wire, simple parts, advanced parts, iron. I have... I have six iron I could have, I guess. I guess that would be fine. Um, this is miscellaneous. I've got stuff for uh, NPC buildings and then fur and fabric in there and batteries. And then this is just chock full of things. My goodness. Um, could use another bottle of water. I'll take that. Everything else looks good. I don't think we got any more antiviral serum. Oh yeah, we do. There we go. That helps <laughs> a block like a single space. Let me put this uh, fur in there. So that's that. That's what we have for the control center so far. I don't have any plastic or anything. I have a little bit of simple parts. Um, let's see. I'm going to leave that as it as is. I'll put, I'll put those back and I'll put the sticks away. I do need a nap. Um, if I grab some plant fiber, I can make another bow for later. I guess we might go in there and loot a little bit. It might be worth something. Unless we want to go out and get a bigger car. So I ended up putting, I have one... Where's I think the other one's in here, actually. Yeah, there it is. But this one has all of my ammo and all of my tradables in there. And honestly, I'd love to go use some of these and get some skills. I thought I had a couple more... I thought I had a couple more uh, Molotovs that I couldn't fit somewhere, though. What did I end up doing with them? Did I leave them in that one backpack? Oh yeah, sure enough. There we go. I gave up on that and I just, <laughs> just put them in there. Okay, so let's scooch up that stuff. Oh, there's more. So... I don't have a ton of ammo, but this is a great start, I think. Those stacks are as full as they can be. I'd love to get... Uh, oh, I'd love to get rid of that, and I'd love to put the lock picks in there so that I have those when I need them. I've got my... Uh, empty water bottles in there. Like I said, I didn't get any plastic, so... It's not much I can do. Uh, so... I guess I'll just stick it in here for now. Alright, let's go grab- get some stuff. We need to go- we're gonna go to the traders, I think. So, that took me like 15, maybe 20 minutes to do. At least 15. So... Oh, well, we could use... Oh, you know what we could use here? A bed. We'll just stick it 
right here for now. Missing required materials. One second. I do have them. I can't believe I didn't put a bed down yet. Okay, let's sleep for two hours. That should be good. That's plenty. Okay, take the sticks and the plant fiber for now. Okay, so we have a couple traders nearby. We have this one in E1, and we have this one in D1. And now I have the merchant restock every 10 days. So we have four more days before Mike and C2 would uh, restock. I'm going to grab... Oh, not the alcohol. The other alcohol. I'm going to grab all of the stuff that will give us mood recovery and maybe we will go learn some things too we are gonna get stinky soon that should be fine okay let's go let's see is there a bear i don't know if there's a bear by that one We'll go very gently and slowly to this trader. Am I going the right way now? No. Oh. Oh, that doesn't help. Okay. It's raining though. That will help my stinkiness. I don't have the ability. I have to build some stuff and get some engineering skills up before I could even think about making a rainwater catcher. All right, let's push this part now too. We should almost be good to drive over that rock. No. We want to go, what, that way? Split the difference. Okay, great. Okay, that might work. There we go. I didn't bring arrows, but I have ammo on me, so... Hopefully we'll be good. Let's see. Okay, we're pretty much going the right way. Well, I really want to get rid of this car soon. Because um, I can't turn on the lights without it being lights and sirens. Where is this trader? Is that them there? Oh, I went right into a rock. This is right in front of me. Right here. Where are you? Must be over this hill. Oh, there. Okay. That's gotta be it there. Oh, there's an ore field here. Oh, that's beautiful. That's perfect. Alright, we'll park right out front. Hello, Hank. What do you teach? Blunt weapons. That doesn't help me. You have animals and flower seeds and stuff. Okay. That doesn't that doesn't help me though. Thank you though, Hank. Alright, let's try this one up here in D1. See what we can get. Are we So if we go that way? We could possibly completely destroy the vehicle um, but it might be too late now maybe I'll just go real slow okay we'll go out to the road I can see the road I'm gonna go this way this looks like the safest way for the car my goodness and then we hang a left Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this trader over here is by the bear. So I'm going to have to be careful where I park at. Might want to go a little bit past him. Because I think the bear is on this side of him where we are. Or up over here on the left by these rocks is where I've seen it before recently. 
So we'll go a little bit further. A little bit further past. How about like right here? And then straight back that way. Get our pistol out. And go for it. We're still going we're still going the right way. No bear sightings yet. Well, that's good. Yep, I see it. Okay, so it's Maria. And she has guns. So, that's excellent for us. I wonder, I think most of the time Maria teaches cooking. I think she might teach engineering or metallurgy. And that could also be good. Uh, hey Maria, what do you have? Oh, you have some good stuff. You have an SKS. She wants 200 for that. She also has a shotgun. And that. 550, huh? Alright, I'm gonna put all this stuff in there. We'll see what we have. Okay. We have 540. So, what would be the most useful one to have? Probably the SKS. And I could wait on wait on that. So for the SKS I would need that and that. That one. A red dot. And what else? Might as well keep keep that one as well. We could keep a good triangle grip. That would work. I think that would be a fair trade. That would be good. I'm going to go for it. SKS and a shotgun. We're going to see so many mods. I'm not worried about it. Do you think a gun oil is worth four? No, it's worth a lot. Wow. Okay. Confirm. There we go. we got some pistols. And I don't have my teeth on me. I have some teeth, though. Need 40. I don't think I have quite 40. Okay, let's mod this bad boy. So stock, magazine, muzzle, 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 my bad, and sight. Okay, I see I see the error of my ways here. Okay, so I've got some pieces for any kind of rifle that takes 5.56 five, in the future, and we have a shotgun. That's awesome. Oh, what do you teach? Engineering. Mm. I think we're good. Alright, let's go back out to the car this way. Oh, I don't need that. It makes it worse in the rain. That will be huge. So that's one of the new things that I wanted to try. Because normally I'm like, alright, I'm going to save all this stuff and then I'll use it for important stuff that we need. Um, but that hasn't always worked out. Because I could go and sneak into C2 or I could go to the police departments or, you know, other places and find those guns naturally. Or I could just buy them. Which I always talk myself out of doing. And that was something that I wanted to try. So now we've got an SKS and a shotgun on day six. We don't have to worry about running around with our heads cut off to get that. So I'm I'm happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and have a beer. And we'll, we're going to go back to... You know what? We don't have to. I don't think I have room for both of these things in there, though. I would have room for this stuff. Um, and then that would go there. Could keep a good can of food. So then all of this stuff needs to go back to base. Right? I guess not technically. 
I could put I could put some of it in there. I don't have any room for this medieval armor right now. So that's why I've left it there. Put any kind of food in there. Could take that out. That doesn't change anything. Let me think here. Yeah, I think we will go back to base. I think I want to loot. I think I want to loot there in the next one. What is that? Oh, it's dirt. Okay. Let's go back. Um. So this trader down here is Maria. She also teaches something. She teaches cooking and she sells weapons. So we don't need to go there. Yeah, let's go back. We'll get ready to to go and loot that POI in the next one, get some more stuff for the control center. We'll, we'll get some engineering done and then maybe we'll come we'll come over to well, I wonder how much iron and stuff we'll get cuz we can come to this farm for iron and stuff. Maybe we'll run out of food and have to go there anyway. But yep, I'm going to go put that stuff back and grab all of my gear. I'm still gonna go spear and bow at that POI. I'm gonna save my guns as much as possible. I might use the shotgun. I need to remember that this is my driveway now. <laughs> Anywho, we're almost there, so I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye!